History is so much more than studying the past. It's about the many elements that make up life. It's also about connecting with the present and looking to the future. You get that and so much more at the Cherokee National History Museum, which is housed in a historic site. Our museum is actually set in our 1869 Cherokee National Capitol building. This is the only museum where you're going to get the full story of Cherokee Nation from time of memorial all the way to present day. It's a full scale look at our Cherokee Nation history with highlights um, introduced through Cherokee art, through artifacts, and through multimedia presentations. Technology enhances the experience of the museum because you can check out an iPad upon arrival and interact with some of the objects on display and the exhibits. So visitors can come and check out one of our iPads and get a full scale a virtual tour guide that will enhance their experience and they can experience their journey here. They can start on the ground floor where we have a temporary exhibit space that's ever changing. Currently on the first floor, there's an exhibit of one of the great Cherokee artists, Cecil Dick, and it tells his story through art. Then on the second floor, they begin with one of the tribe's origin stories and move through Cherokee history. So we have objects on display from our early era history, including pottery, baskets, moccasins, even a fish trap. And then we move into our government, government relationships with um, England and then what became the United States. There's actually a bag on display that was commissioned and produced by Cherokee Nation artists that was gifted to Andrew Jackson even before the India Removal Act. The second floor is an excellent place to use the iPad for that enhanced experience, one of which has to do with one of the many chapters of time significant to the Cherokee Nation. So one of the ways we highlight our pre-European contact story is through an early era structure where um, you can interact and learn what government life was like prior to European contact. And with our iPad, you can actually scan one of our symbols in there and put yourself in a, a 1700s council house. It's actually at the Cherokee Heritage Center, but you can put yourself and look all around through the ceiling down to the fire itself. It feels like you are there. It was actually really cool because I like just to like see it and then you got to spin around and see everything. One of the many impressive elements of this museum is not only the displays, but how so much is told through art. Another is how the Trail of Tears story is told. And so what we did with this experience, rather than doing visual pictures of, you know, people marching and being rounded up, we told the story through the, through the uh, voices of the people who experienced it. And so we really tried to let those voices illustrate the story rather than people's preconceived notions. You can see notable displays such as the one honoring the first female chief of a tribal nation, Wilma Mankiller. The suit she was wearing when she met President Reagan can be seen. Well, this museum is a wonderful opportunity for uh, school-aged children and adults alike. There's uh, many different uh, historical items here, current items here, and it's just a terrific atmosphere to walk around in. They could learn a lot. There's a lot of different things you could learn around, just walking around and watching them videos and you can learn about your culture, and I just thought it was fun. To tour this museum is fun, but more importantly, it's about learning and studying the past, but engaging with the present and the future. And it's all through education, commerce, and culture. What we hope visitors learn when they leave here is that Cherokee Nation is not one people in one place of time. We are people that have a vibrant history. We have a tough history. We have suffered many tragedies, but we also have overcome and prospered and excel. And today we're a vibrant tribe with more than 300,000 members with major economic impacts within the state of Oklahoma.